Hello again, I'm back. Um, in this video I show you how to use the toggle bar. So this is the toggle bar on the 3D side and this is the toggle bar on the 2D side. Um, I only found out two years after I started working um, with Claude that it's called toggle bar, but now you know it. <laughs> Okay. I start here in the uh, 3D window. I just uploaded a t-shirt that I can show you but you don't need one. The first one is quality render and um, there's the light from the garment and then you just see better small details. I use this only if I have a simulation with many small folds or ruffles or so. The next one is schematic render. And with this you can recreate a technical drawing from 3D. Um, in the past you did this with Illustrator, but you, if you use um, 3D in your company you can do it with schematic render. Here you can also uh, enter the line width or color of the line. So maybe here. The outline, seam lines, internal lines or the color. Um, below is the 3D display. Um, the first one you can show hidden patterns again. Um, so if you have hidden any with right click and hide 3D pattern, then you can show it here again. Um, in the second one you can show achieved patterns. Um, third one seam lines. Or the internal lines, base lines, and 3D pen, uh, strips or pins. Mm, the rest you never need. I always have these four on and the pins on and off depending on how I need it. Here it's the same. Show buttons, show piping, bonding, puckering and trims. I just have always these uh, three on. Um, here on avatar, the first one is to show and hide the avatar. The second one to show the arrangement points, bounding boxes and x-ray. To create another pose and measures or 3D pen. Mm. Here you can choose how the fabric should be displayed. Um, transparent or mesh. I always use this um, thick textured surface. These here are, these here are very important. Um, there you can see how tight or how loose the garment is, uh, how the garment fits, um, like a digital fitting. Um, but I think that is, at the moment you can do anything with it. <laughs> Uh, because you can't represent the material you have for your real garment with all its physical properties to make sure that you can fall back on these values. Um, I hope that Claw will continue uh, to develop, but at the moment the material makes the um, um, biggest trouble in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. um, here you can set the surface of the avatar and below. And here below, I never said anything. Okay. Here in the 2D uh, toggle bar, it's nearly the same. First one, you can um, show the seams and top stitches and puckering. Um, here, the baseline, seam allowance, grading. Um, here, the name of the pattern. This is maybe not bad. And the annotations. Here I always set translucent surface. Sometimes I put pattern on top of each other and then you can check if it fits well. And here you can lock a pattern outline or internal line or base lines. Yep. If you have any questions, uh, write them in the comments. 